What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy P City Substance. Welcome back to the video game votary. This is episode eight. So today, I'm just gonna give you guys a recap of Magfest 2019, which took place from January 3rd through the 6th, 2019, down in Washington D.C. at the Gaylord uh, National Hotel Convention Center. Um, so I signed up to volunteer at Magfest. Uh, well, let me go into what actually MAGFest is. For those who don't know, it's basically music and gaming. Uh, that's what the MAG part stands for. Fest is obviously a festival. It is a three-day event, four-day event. Well, kind of three and a half, but four-day event uh, from 24-7. Starting Thursday, I believe, at 11, 10 or 11 o'clock, all the way until Sunday at about 4 p.m. So I signed up to volunteer to um, help be part of staff at MAGFest this year and um, so I'm going to get into the process of that um, so it was an email sent out um, Tuesday that they were doing a setup that you come and get extra hours um, as far as volunteering so I went down Wednesday night after work and uh, I was helped setting up the LAM room the LAM room is basically where um, all the gaming PCs were located uh, Ethernet connections, power connections, things of that nature where you can bring your own PC or bring your own laptop, desktop, whatever you want to participate in the tournaments. You had to be there. All the tournaments took place in the land room. So I helped set that up Wednesday night. Um, Thursday night, uh, well, Thursday evening, I uh, I went down Thursday during the day. Uh, first shift, I did uh, public safety. So I was just walking through the event checking everything out that's when things got going uh, a couple hours into the festival and then later on Thursday evening I did the uh, I was one of the admins of the pinball tournament the scorekeeper um, Friday I was from Friday evening I was overwatch tournament admin which was a pretty cool experience Saturday um, I did uh, land room help desk and after that I did uh, the I was down in the console section so uh, some of the the way the volunteer works some of the positions and shifts that you choose are what's called weighted so basically if they feel like it's more demanding whether that be physically or mentally whatever the case they feel is more demanding than a normal quote-unquote position then it may be weighted like a half one and a half times the amount of time you actually worked or two times my public safety was weighted two times, so I worked four hour shift. I got eight hours of credit. And then um, the Overwatch tournament admin, I got one and a half times. So I worked five hours, I ended up getting seven and a half. So that was pretty cool. And I ended up, and then as part of volunteering, if you work, I think, eight hours, you get a event t shirt. If you work like 12 hours, you get. Um, you're eligible to get uh, food. They supply breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all their volunteers and staff. Uh, if you work 20 hours, you get um, your uh, the money you paid for your badge for that year. You get that money back, and if you do 30, you get a uh, complimentary staff badge for next year. And you also be eligible if you were turning to volunteer. You'd be eligible to stay in part of the staff part of the hotel, which is pretty cool. So that's what I was shooting for. But overall, Magfest was a fun experience. Um, I kind of felt like I took away from it because I was doing volunteer work, so a lot of it felt more like work. I did take some time to myself and go through the event, but I felt like it wasn't what exactly what I had intended to be. I think I. I didn't plan that well so that was my fault but the event itself was uh, for the most part well put together it was exciting the event was a lot going on um, from on the spot DJing and party and stuff like that they had the video game console room which was unbelievable I had every single console you can imagine down there set up all running you could go to the help desk and ask for controllers if it was having a situation where the controller stopped working you can't even ask for any game and I would say 90% of the video games for the consoles they had um, they had a smash zone was all Super Smash Brothers games for each console N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U up to the Switch they had a um, Mortal Kombat, not Mortal Kombat sorry, Street Fighter 5 tournament that was taking place in one section uh, and they had all the consoles breaking down 
kind of in the sections, a couple of each. And each one um, from Atari to the NES, Super NES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, uh, which was my first time playing. That was cool. Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4. Um, then they also had like a merchandise kind of swap meet area where, you know, you had some vendors in there selling different anime and uh, games, video games, of course, accessories and stuff like that. Then they also had the arcade room, which had pinball machines, almost any uh, arcade cabinet that you can think of from Tetris, uh, Super Mario Brothers, NBA Jam. Uh, pinball uh, what else was in there Pac-Man of course uh, Galactica everything that you can imagine as far as uh, arcades were concerned they had claw machines in there they had um, just anything you imagine and it was, it was definitely set up like an arcade setting low low dimly set lightings and stuff like that and um, it definitely had an arcade feel ski ball was in there um, so it was just, it was a lot of fun. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighters, of course. Uh, Metal Slug, it, it was just a great experience. Uh, another part that was really cool, that I thought was cool, I actually put some footage on the channel already. Uh, I walked through the, uh, what they call the computer museum, where they had all the computers, like from the current computers all the way back to the beginning where gaming started to evolve with computers. So like early Macintosh, early Windows computers on up. Um, uh, also, I thought was cool, that was in the computer museum. I didn't know why I was in there, but it was. Uh, Virtual Boy, <laughs> I thought that was awesome. It was the first time me seeing it in person that I can remember. I got to play it a little bit. It was a Mario game. That was super awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on one of them. Uh, I also played the Atari Jaguar, which I thought was cool. I had one as a kid. Never played it, though, for just strange reasons, but I just never played it, so that was cool. Um, so I got to play that, and they had um, the Sega Master System. It, it was just an incredible, incredible experience. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I actually went back, when I went back Sunday, um, I took my two older sons, and my buddy came, and he was saying, he was just excited. My oldest, I mean, my best, one of my best friends was excited. He said, you know, he wants to be involved and be really experienced next year. So. Um, I'm excited for next year, man. It was it was just a good experience. I plan on, I'm gonna plan things differently as far as when my volunteer work versus me just enjoying the festival as a whole. Things will definitely be different. So I'm looking forward to next year, and uh, I enjoyed it. I got to meet some people. I think I got some new subscribers from down there. Thank you for that. Um, share with your friends. I I gave out a lot of cards and. I was giving away earbuds to the new subscribers, which can apply to you. If you subscribe to the channel, shoot me a message on here or on one of my social media pages and say, hey, I'm a new subscriber. And, um, you know, shoot me over. I'll get in contact with you. Shoot me the info. And I will send you a set of earbuds, man, because I definitely appreciate everyone that subscribes to the channel and click the like button and share everything else. So, um, so basically, that's it. Uh, MAGFest was was great this year I can't wait till next year um, so I'm looking forward to every day I'm looking forward to moving forward with this channel so that's it for today's episode wait to see you in a couple days maybe next week for the next episode of video game voter it's your boy P-City Substance game on